Welcome to our lecture online. Ultimately, what we're typically most interested in is the equilibrium point of the supply and demand curve combined. So here we left the supply curve from our previous example, and now we're also going to graph the demand curve of the example before that. And here we can see that if it's not a linear function for both, we can still see that there's some point where the two graphs will cross and that's called the equilibrium point. That's where the price is such that the demand will equal the supply and that's of course that's where you want to be. If the supply is greater than the demand then there will be a surplus and then the price will fall so that demand will increase. Typically the price will always change until the amount wanted, demanded, is equal to the amount supplied by the growers. In this case when we talk about tomatoes. And so here, going back to what we knew before, at $4 the demand will be one pound, so one pound at $4, that's right here, that would be the demand. At $3 the demand would be two, at $2 the demand would be three, and at $1 the demand would be four. So let's go ahead and graph that linear function like this. And notice there is some point right here where the two cross, and we're trying to find out what that uh, uh, what that point is and of course the most important part is what is the price the price is equal to question mark when the supply equals the demand so we go back to the equation we had notice the demand equation would be minus 1d plus 5 5 would be the intercept right here and then the supply equation would be equal to 1s of course instead of d and s because they have different variables let's simply use x for both so now what we do is we're going to set the demand equation equal to the supply equation which means that minus 1x plus 5 equals 1x and what we're going to do here is solve for x and now once we know x we can then find the price associated with that equilibrium point so the first thing we're going to do <clears throat> is we're going to move the 1x over here so minus 1x minus 1x equals minus 5 when we bring the minus 5 across minus 2x equals minus 5 and divide both sides by minus 2, we get x equals, hmm, that would be 2.5. And so that would be the, the equilibrium point where the supply will equal the demand. 2.5 pounds per customer per week would be the demand if the price was just right to provide the correct amount of supply of an equal amount. So now what we need to do is plug that into one of our two equations. So it doesn't matter which one, we can plug it into either one. Let's go ahead and do that. So the, the demand equation is equal to minus 1 times x plus 5. So the, the, the uh, price when the demand is equal to 2.5 is equal to minus 1 times 2.5 plus 5. So that would be equal to minus 2.5 plus 5, which is equal to 2.5. In other words, if the price is $2.5 per pound, the supply would equal the demand. Using the other equation, the supply equation, which is equal to 1s or 1x, so then we can see that the, the price when the supply is equal to 2.5 is equal to 1 times 2.5, which is equal to 2.5, so again, you can see that the price for either demand or the supply equation better be the same because of course here we set them equal to each other to find the equilibrium point. And that is how we find the equilibrium point by setting the price for the demand equal to the price for the supply to find out what that equilibrium point would be in terms of demand and supply. And that is how that's done. Two and a half pounds? I can easily eat two and a half pounds of tomatoes a week. <laughs> They're not that many calories, by the way. I looked it up. It's not like tomatoes, it's your mayonnaise that you love. Yeah, well, they taste better with mayonnaise. 